Hello and thanks again for joining me for another episode of Kenshi with my Freedom Seekers Skeletons Only playthrough. Uh, so in the last episode we got these uh, skeleton repair beds up and running and we tactically used them in battle. Uh, in between episodes took a bit of time to put up a few more wind generators and some more batteries down here. Uh, I've also moved the copper storage up here, closer to the electronics bench. Um, though I'm not sure the oils is actually taking it all that whole distance from here. Uh, let me see. Anyway, we'll keep an eye on that. Um, okay, and we also had Sad Neil over here. He's, uh, we got him to buy a couple of ancient science books and got him to research the, uh, the ore drill, which he's done. Did that off camera. But uh, we're going to grab him again now and go and buy an AI core. So let's just uh, speed him up a bit. Bring him over here. Grab that and put that uh, plate away. So Sad Neil is over here in the Black Desert City. Uh, just out from that, which is over here. Across this bridge is the scrap house. And that is where we can buy a limited amount of ancient science books, AI cores and engineering research. Now when I say limited, it's a one-off deal. Uh, there are some ways that you can refresh it, but typically, typically it's a one-off deal. Once you've bought it, the shopkeeper doesn't restock it. So when you get over to this building, you want to get onto this little ramp over here. So we'll mosey on over there. And once you're on the ramp, then we can go up a floor. And we can come in here. And over in the middle here, we've got this guy here that we can speak to. Has quite a nice selection of weapons. And some good blueprints as well. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, but uh, we want this, and that's going to cost us 25,000 cats. Sell that iron. Don't want to go below. Want to keep at least 4K on us at all times. So I'll pop his jobs back on, and he'll start heading back. Back towards his little home. Get a little bit closer and we'll bring him over the rest of the way manually. So he's set up to mine this uh, iron node down here. Uh, just there. So when he's not researching, he's mining iron. Alright, let's shove that in there. And let's get him doing the automated mining tech. Uh, don't know if I'm going to worry about advanced stone mining. Really. Don't really want to waste an ancient science book on that. We do use some building materials, but not a real lot. We don't need to be pumping out 
extreme amounts of that. Um, maybe I could spend them on the steel bars, but I think I'd rather get the uh, the the ore drill upgrade. So I'm going to save the rest of those for now. Uh, he can have his sneak back on. And we'll go back to the main camp. Okay. So we're going to do a few things over here. Uh, let's go to buildings. I'm going to put up another storm house over here. Uh, wrong, wrong button. Let's pop this one over here. Confirm that, but I'm going to put that on pause. Um, also, all right, so when we started off here, we've got things spread out so that uh, people would, our guys would have to uh, run distances and therefore getting their athletics up. But uh, now I sort of want to focus on focus on getting our little outpost here a little bit more efficient uh, so what I'm going to do we are going to find our steel bars pop that there and iron plates Pop that in there. So we'll get those built. All right. Now uh, we'll go to mining. We'll get the ore mine. Now we can get a hundred percent over here, but. Uh, Pathfinding can be a little bit dodgy because it's going over the top of the uh, the original iron source that's there. Uh, let's try that. And see if he can reach it. Looks like he's going to be able to reach it, but let's uh, stop him there. Uh, let's turn his jobs off for a second. Bring him up here. Uh, let's swap out his bag for the trader's backpack. And you might notice that he's wearing a new long coat. That's because uh, one of these... Uh, one of these smuggler guys bit the dust and so I took him inside where I couldn't be seen because I didn't want to upset these guys and I took his stuff, laundered it in our uh, armour cabinet. Alright, so I'm going to Grab what I can of these. Let's uh, pop that across there. And you can have your job on. Otherwise, you'll just pick up one or two. So we'll get this built. Hopefully uh, there's no pathfinding issues with it. Can 
do just access that uh, original iron source under there, but we won't need to. So this here has 120% maximum efficiency, but that's if it's got three workers on it. Uh, this is going to have 125 of two workers, and eventually we'll be able to upgrade it. And we did get the uh, the automated mining researched, so that means uh, we should get. Uh, we're not going to upgrade this. We're going to build a new one over here, but uh, that should run automatically when we do. Let's stop you there. Grab as many of those as you can fit in your bag instead of just carrying two all the way back. Alright, you do have enough. Alright, so you've got that up and running. So bolts, we are going to... Let's take it off of that steel refinery. Let's take it off of that as well. Take it off of that iron resource. And we get you using that one. Springs. I'm going to take you off of that iron refinery. And you can be using that as well. Okay. So we have building materials still on us. Okay, let's come back down here. Uh, we don't need the raw stone, really. Uh, let's take those out of there. Let's build a building material storage up here. And you can shove all of that in there. Come back down here and grab the rest of it. And dismantle that one. You can grab that iron plate. Uh, we can grab as many of those as you can fit let's uh, haul those let's come back down here okay do have some action skimmer See if we can take take care of this. Okay. Loot that guy before he gets up. Dismantle that as well. Pick that up. And that one. Alright, let's let these guys patch each other up. Okay. Uh, let's pop the job back on for a minute.
Okay, so let's see. For the time being, let's just put all these claws in here. And uh, let me see what we'll do. Let's get a new iron refinery over here. Let's just pop that, I reckon, about there. And, okay, that's our old one. Let's dismantle that one. Let's get springs to auto hole to there. Actually, I'll get... Uh, We get bolts. Bolts can auto hole that one. Alright. I'll get this up and running. These guys can't afford our meat. All right, that is full. Uh, so how about springs? How about you come and help? Get this, uh, help get this book. Okay, uh, let's see. So, bolts. And springs. Alright, so, because we no longer have an ore storage, um, these guys are going to automatically haul this across to here. This is running automatically, but uh, they are not going to empty it out automatically unless we have have it set to hauling. But uh, what I'll do is I'll put that underneath, so that means he's not going to run back and forth every two seconds to take one out of there who will... Uh, He'll haul the whole lot when that gets full, and this is full. Then he'll haul that lot across. Um, okay. So now, we will go back into mining now. Get a new steel refinery up here as well. Pop that there. Uh, we will take that out of there and we'll dismantle this one. And let's take that job off for a minute. We'll pick up all of these. Alright, you 
can all those steel bars have your job back on. And I guess brings to come and help here. Uh, let's see if bolts can help as well. Get this sped up a bit. So almost built there. Okay, so now springs will get you working on that. Pop that on up on uh, first priority though. Okay, so old rust, what have you got? How about you drop that on the ground there? Let's unpause this and get that going. But uh, of course, he only picked up two building materials, so. Let's uh, make sure that he picks up as much as he can. That's probably too many now. I think this only takes uh, 16, so yeah. Did pick up too many, but that's okay. Shouldn't take him too long. Guess we can get uh, springs to help. Uh, we'll get bolts to help as well. Get this up real quick. Okay. Uh, let's see, before we go any further, let's get, uh, a light post. Let's, uh, pop that over Let's pop it in here. Hopefully that doesn't, uh, block their way so I'll have to keep an eye on that and make sure it doesn't mess with their pathfinding sometimes can do okay uh, let's put you on sneak so we can see your light uh, I guess it's not really in the best spot. Doesn't matter too much, I guess. Uh, but let's get another one over here for springs. Maybe we'll put, uh, all right, let's put another one, I guess we'll put another one here, I guess. Yeah. Okay. All right, well, that is getting filled up. So, all right. Uh, let's have a look at springs. Springs has got full light, which is good. 
Okay. Uh, so next, we are going to go crafting, robotics bench. We're going to pop that up here. Uh, we're going to get a robotic storage. And we're going to pop that right next to it. Uh, this is going to take a few iron plates. One, two, three, four. And an extra one for the storage. Okay, uh, let me see. So, Nuts has been doing the electricals. Which is full. So, all right, we'll, we'll set nuts up on the robotics. So, skeleton repair kit is is the uh, end result from all of these. But in order to build one of those, we need or well, steel bars we've got, but we also need robotics components. Now robotics components we uh, we need skeleton muscle and motor. The motor takes electrical components and iron plates so we can do that. The uh, all right the skeleton muscle needs steel bars and a press so we're going to need a press so that takes iron plates. And then we can do the skeleton muscle. So then we'll have a motor and a skeleton muscle. And then we can do the robotics components. And then the repair kit. Pop that on repeat queue. And we will get, okay, so we've got a trader. We don't really, we have stuff to sell. Don't think I do really. Some of them claws. Uh, maybe we'll sell that meat, I guess. It's not really selling. Uh, what have we got in here? Not much. Uh, we could sell a bit of this copper. We've got a fair bit of copper. Do need the cash. So this is the first time that we've actually had the uh, actually had the hivers come across. Uh, can you go talk to him, please? Where are you? Why are you? going so slow because I've got the speed down slow all right you can buy some of this and that's all you can afford nothing really there that I want uh, wait Can you afford any of these? One of those. Alright. Uh, maybe we'll buy some books off you. Sell the rest of those. Okay. Uh, that's the first time the, the hive has made it out here. So maybe, 
maybe the uh, the bar will restock its cash now. I'm not sure. That's how that works. Uh, let's put these books in here. Do we have anything really? Um, I mean, we could do battery. May as well. All right. So, uh, nuts. Nuts, we're going to get set up on here. All right. So, basically, I mean, he's going to do electronics until he can't anymore, which means. Oh, but, well, that's full, and this is full. Uh, let's see. Yeah, which shouldn't take him long if we're not using that many electronics for anything else. Uh, although we are going to use a couple in a minute. All right, that's fine. Uh, this, let's dismantle that one. Let's get old rust over here. We'll get our stone processor number four up here. So that does take some electrical components let's uh, pick up as many of these as we can Have your job back on. Uh, Cogs will take off that dead machine off of there. And actually you can come pick these up. And you can store them. So that needs five. Can I reach that from here? One, two, three, four, five. And our battery capacity is just kicked in. Uh, Cogs, how about you come and help build this, please? Back here, help build this. It's almost done. Oh, uh, a short one iron plate. Okay. All right, that's done now. So, 
cogs you can actually work that as a priority oh well maybe okay do the mine when that fills up then he's going to use that okay and we can put in another light post maybe we'll pop that there oh uh, wait let's pop that there okay so let's check everybody so nuts are still doing the, the electricals that's full so it's almost done here okay oils all oils is doing is copper which I believe he is bringing back here but it is getting used up for our electrical components um, okay and now nuts come over here and has started building the motor So this is a bit of a lengthy process to make these. Uh, the one thing that you do need to watch with, with making robotics, okay, so it uses a robotic skill. So the, this is the same skill that is used for repairing. So the higher that is, the longer, the more you're going to get out of your repair kits. I think... Uh, the repair a little bit quicker as well but when you've got someone working on this and they're making these they're going to dump this stuff into the uh, the robotics chest so when you do have somebody working on one of these make sure that they do have a repair kit on them so okay so it's just made the motor so now the the queue has gone around, so he's now making the press. Which he needs for the muscle. So then he'll have the motor that should be in his inventory. Uh, nuts. Okay, yeah, see. When he dumped that in there, he also dumped his own repair kit. So he's got the motor in there. Now making the press. And now because he's using electronics. I think he probably would have filled that up. Yeah. He would have filled that up and gone and crafted more electronics. But uh, when he fills that up again, he'll go back and craft more electronics. But, uh, okay. So, all right. So now he's working on the working on the muscle, and yep, he just dumped his repair kit again. And once he finishes that, then he'll start, he'll use the motor and the muscle, make the components, and then he'll make a repair kit. 
All right, so let's see how we're doing over here. Iron plates. Uh, let's get old rust using this one. Okay. Alright, so, yep, now he's moved on to components, the, uh, the motor and the, the muscle has gone into, into here. So once it's done the components, he'll change down to the actual repair kit. Uh, oils. Okay, yep, oils is carrying this back. Alright, so nuts, how'd you go? Yep, so he's now making that, but he has dumped his repair kit in there. And he's just going to dump it. Straight back in there while he's making one. So he did pick up extra additional electronics as well. So he's almost done there. Almost done. Okay, and then the queue starts again. Uh, yep. Okay. So he kept a good one on him, but he dumped the uh, he dumped that one. So let's see. Oils. Yours is half empty. How about we bring you up here? You can grab that. That's combined with the one you had. Uh, I think you can have one of these cleavers too. Uh, nuts. You've still got some bolts. Cogs has got a cleaver, Springs has got a cleaver, Bolts has got a cleaver, Old Rust. Okay. You're still on the crossbow. Okay. So, there we go. Now we're producing our own, uh, our own repair kits. And, uh, he has, no, oh, he's made another one. Wait. Oh no, no, he's dumped the one that he had. That's fine. So you do need to to watch that. But uh alright. Uh there we go. So that is gonna do it for this episode. So if you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like or a comment down below. If you'd like to see more, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.